Welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Are you ready to listen to Goldilocks and the Wolf? Written by Hilary Robinson and illustrated by Simona Sanfilippo. If you want to buy a copy of this book, the link is available in the description at the bottom of this video. Goldilocks and the Wolf Goldilocks ran from the Three Bears' house down into Bluebell Wood. She stopped to rest beside a stream and saw Little Red Riding Hood. Goldilocks told her the story of the bears she had met that day, of how she had tried their porridge and why she had run away. Red Riding Hood said, are you feeling hungry? Would you like a bun? But as she laid the blanket down, Goldilocks screamed, Run! A wolf sat down between them and said, Buns, how kind of you! But the girls knew if they stayed there, he'd try to eat them too. Quick, run! said Goldilocks again, and both girls turned quite pale. They went to hide behind a bush, but they spied the wolf's brown tail. They ran and hid beside the pond. Then Goldilocks gave a cry, for peeking over the top of the reeds was the wild wolf's winking eye. I know, said Goldilocks. Let's hide over here. But over by the gate they saw the wolf's brown pointed ear. Let's go, they cried. The river bank has trees to hide beneath. But peeking through the rustling leaves, they saw the wolf's sharp teeth. Goldilocks said, follow me, we'll race towards that farm. We'll try to find the three bears there and sound the wolf alarm. Listen, said Red Riding Hood, I've got a good idea. Let's go to my grandmother's house. She lives really very near. But as they ran, they heard a howl that echoed through the trees. And when they turned around, they saw the wolf down on his knees. Don't go! He sobbed, oh, please don't go. Don't leave me all alone. No one wants to be my friend. I'm always on my own. I'm just a friendly, gentle wolf. I'm really very meek. And all I want to play with you is a game of... Hide and seek! The end. Thank you for listening, children. I hope you enjoyed this story. Kids, always remember to be good, polite and kind. And I'll see you soon in another video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching and listening. Enjoy more stories at Dixie Storytime World on YouTube. We're also available on the Kids YouTube app.